where we will be interviewing Frey today. We have been here for three weeks as part of an Erasmus program in Pori in Finland. So we're very excited to talk to Frey today. And we'll be discussing some aspects of the Finnish culture, some parts of our Erasmus program. So, welcome Frey. Thank you. Um, so, we've been here for one week of our three-week Erasmus program. So, what do you think of the Erasmus program in general? Well, I have had a lot of fun during the years and I have been traveling, mm -hmm. you know, with the Erasmus program and, and it has been very good parties and a lot of fun things. And we have been learning a lot too. Mm -hmm. And I hope uh, everybody else has been learning also a lot of things. And uh, first of all, the cu cultural dif differences. I mean, of course, you learn, we were in Hungary, I was in Slovakia and and I should come to Ireland. Mm -hmm. I've been there once, but not with the school. We were shooting a documentary for Finnish TV back back uh, a few years back with our firm. But anyway, uh, Erasmus kicks ass. Yeah. <laughs> He's a real person, you know, this oh, Erasmus yeah? from Rotterdam. Uh, and oh. he, this is named after him. And he was a uh, author and he was mm -hmm. very much involved in the printing med media, which was something like, you know, the internet when the mm -hmm. internet came out. So the printing press were, were a similar kind of revolution in yeah. Europe. And I actually read a book about Erasmus. So oh, wow. I know everything. Yeah. About him. yeah. So there is a lot of good things related to Erasmus, mm -hmm. this person, this uh, media revolutions and, and, and this uh, student exchange program. Yeah. And how do you think our visit's been going so far? We had, have you had a positive experience? Yeah, I mean, first of all, your skiing was very good yesterday. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, but we have been skiing, skiing with many mm -hmm. uh, people from Ireland. I, I think you are one of the best. Oh, so. thank you. So, but in general, yeah, we had uh, we have had a lot of uh, program activities mm. and it has been fun, but we have also been working a lot. And this is actually what we are doing now is something we have been rehearsing the whole week. and. This doesn't look like much, but when you have the shooting schedule and you have yeah. to be precise, this is quite quite difficult. Definitely. So I'm, I'm very happy with this week. Oh, well, that's so good far. to hear. Yeah. And how do you think that you and your college benefit from having Erasmus students from Ireland? You mean colleagues or students? College. Oh, uh, college, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, first of all, I mean, in this business, you have to be international. I mean, if you are going to, I mean, you, you don't want to stay in, in Satakunta and doing small monies for nothing. You want mm -hmm. to go to Helsinki. If you go to Helsinki, there are international productions already and, and many TV formats are international and so on. Yeah. So, so you you have to speak English. Um, you absolutely have. And uh, altogether, you have to be a person who gets along and uh, mm -hmm. can make it in the world. So it's extremely important to be involved with different Mm -hmm. uh, people from different country, countries and different cultures. So that's that's maybe even the mo most yeah. you know, important thing. But of course, we learn things too. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, your education is probably a little bit more uh, content orientated. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, as you know, we were building this, this show the whole week. Mm -hmm. We were rehearsing the cameras, the sound, whatever, building the lights. Yeah. And we were focusing very much on the technical side of it. Then we come to Thursday evening, Friday morning, and we realize that, yeah, well, shit, we don't have any content for it. We, have, yeah. we actually don't have any script. We don't have anything. Yeah. We just have a good technique. So uh, we have to, you know, make some changes and we could learn a lot. Oh, well, that's good anyway. And how do you think that your students specifically benefit from having us here? Mm, the Irish students. Or, or, uh, your students yeah. here. I mean, to learn, to get along with people and out in the world in different cultures. I mean, this is media for Christ's sake. You can't yeah. really think that you stay in, in Satakunta or, or Numbi Pusula or, or, or Lapland making big bucks on media. That doesn't work like that. You have mm. to go where the money is. You have to go where the work is. You have to, you know, yeah. you, you want to be famous. And I mean, not famous like a star, but, but in the business, you know. Yeah, you, yeah. You know, so that's yeah. very important. Well, so we're here for three weeks and then soon also you'll send some of your students to Ireland. Yeah. So how do you think that they'll benefit from coming to Ireland? Do you think there'll be a different kind of experience there? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, uh, even more, 
going somewhere, mm. being able to handle all the paperwork, the traveling, everything, getting alone, you know, getting along in a different country. I mean, if you do it for the first time, you go into the shop and you're like, what? Yeah. What are they sell, selling? Am I supposed to eat this? I mean, mm -hmm. you have probably very yeah. good food, oh, but yeah. you know how it is. You went, you came here and you went to the shop course, the first course, day yeah. and you, I looked at your face. <laughs> so, I mean, and, and then getting along and handling everything. There is always yeah. some small issues when you are traveling mm -hmm. and being abroad. And, yeah, of and, course. And, and you got to su survive that, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's very important. And of course, they learn to do, use different kind of softwares, different kind of uh, equipment and so yeah. on, and maybe a slightly different working culture and so on. And all this will make a person much stronger, professionally stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I was referring to Jörn Donner here yeah. <laughs> earlier, and he is the mm. only Finnish person who has actually been in the Oscar, Oscar gala getting an Oscar. Oh, wow. or, or at least, yeah. So, I mean, <clears throat> you have to be like uh, very, very, you know, uh, getting along with people and, and, mm. and be sociable. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and I don't remember why I was talking about John Donner. Maybe I just <laughs> wanted to, to do, but anyway, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the thing, you have to survive, mm. you know, in whatever situation. And I'm not talking about the jungle or wilderness, but I'm talking about the media world, which is mm. quite rough, I think. Yeah. It's, it's quite rough. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so you were speaking a little bit about the cultural differences between Ireland and Finland. So what do you think are your favorite aspects of Finnish culture that you would like us to experience while we're here? Yeah, that's a tough one. First of all, my name, you know my name, Frey Blomqvist, yeah. I'm a little bit Swedish, too, <laughs> so you should listen to Abba. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> this next one is, is a cliche. This really is, but uh, I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. We had a few Irish students here over a few years ago, okay? And we had them, of course, to sauna. Yeah. Of course. And, uh, <clears throat> but these guys really wanted to try to go out from the sauna in a swimsuit and roll around in the snow, yeah. which is a cliche, you know, you, <laughs> mm. this is something you shouldn't do if you are a good host, you know, even, not even propose that, but they wanted oh, yeah. to do it. And it was nasty, of course, but after that, they went back to the sauna and the whole mm. evening they were like, whoa, what a good feeling, you know, the blood is circular, yeah. circulating and, and, and the, it was mentally, you know, very good, like meditating mm. the whole evening. The feeling was so good. So, yeah, okay, but that was a little bit of a joke, but they really felt good about it. I don't know. I mean, what should you do in Finland? I mean, listen to heavy metal, but I think heavy metal is a little bit out even in Finland too. Yeah. People are nowadays more into pop and all kind of, and the old guy, in my opinion, <laughs> soft stuff. People are oh, soft, yeah. they are listening to soft music. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, Finnish metal. We've heard, we've heard a lot about yeah. Finnish music since we came here. Nightwish would probably be mm. one of the most famous, although many would say that Nightwish is not really metal anymore. It's ABBA, it's like ABBA uh -huh, yeah. with just oh, yeah. a little more, more rough sound. Still mm. a very good band, I think you might like it. Yeah. But um, yeah, Finland, it's Suomi, Sauna, Sisu, Sibelius, that's, that's pretty much it. And ah, okay. Jörn Donner. Yeah. And me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. exactly. Yeah. Um, so, while we're here kind of experiencing everything, um, do you think that there is any advice that you would give to students studying media for kind of going into the business in the future, whether it's in Finland or anywhere? Yeah, there is two different approaches, but I give you the one who probably works better. You got to work very hard. You have to practice more than the other. If you don't, you won't succeed, mm -hmm. period. That's how it is. But if you practice more than all the else, it will mean nothing. I mean, you will do it for nothing if you are not very well connected. Mm -hmm. You have to go to several places and do job learning. You have to go abroad, you have to really be visible, you got to know people. Two things, work 
fucking hard. Work more than the others. Get well connected. Then you have a chance. If you don't do that, switch yeah. the business, period. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the old school approach, but I think yeah. people are going softer. The work is going harder. Okay. There yeah. is the gap is getting bigger. Yeah. I don't know what is happening, but Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's hard to kind of break into the industry from studying? Uh <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't have time, so uh, thank you for It is, but for those who are good, it is not. Yes. That's the point. <laughs> okay, well, on that piece of advice, thank you so much for thank our you. interview. We've really enjoyed being here and we hope we'll have some more experiences while we're here. And yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.